Prairie.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we are making Tawa Gobi. Now this is one of our inventions. <laughs> and me personally, I actually find Gobi very, very boring. I've always found it very, very boring. Actually, a lot of people, not just you. Yeah, I'm sure. And uh, this is just a quick version and it's such a nice, you can spice it up. And you know, it's just done so fast. And I actually love this recipe. <laughs> And it's super easy. So uh, what we have is some uh, cauliflower. We've cut it into big chunks mm -hmm. and washed it really nicely and just drained off the water. And we lightly drained off the water so that a little bit of the water is still remaining on the florets. And we're going to cover this and microwave it till it's about half cooked and uh, the floret is just a little bit limp. And one more thing before we microwave it, uh, the cauliflower is still wet so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on there mm -hmm. just so the salt um, catches onto the florets and kind of goes inside. And flavors it, yes. Right. Salt to taste. And give it a mix. Mm. All right, cover and microwave. So our cauliflower came out of the microwave. Our microwave took exactly three minutes and it's perfectly cooked. It's not overcooked mm -hmm. and it's just slightly limp, but uh, depending on how much cauliflower you have in your bowl and the power of your microwave, just keep an eye on it and do a little bit, a little, you know, uh, like a few minutes at a time so that you don't overcook it. Right. And here we have a skillet. It's already on. And I'm going to just drizzle a little bit of oil on it. Get it heated up. And in the meantime, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil onto this cauliflower, just a little bit to coat. And I'm going to sprinkle a little additional salt and a little bit of red chili powder. Mm. To taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much everything in this recipe is, is to, to taste. taste. Yes. Exactly. And again, toss that around so it gets a nice coating of the oil and all the spices. Well, there's a couple of reasons why we're putting the oil in there as well as here is uh, because the gobi is not cooked all the way so the oil in there is going to help cook it over here as well so because parts of the gobi do not get you know the oil from the tawa okay this is ready so we'll put the pieces mm -hmm. and flatten them out And since it's a big skillet, uh, one of the things that really goes well with this is onions. So we have a uh, chopped some, we slice them, and we're just going to put them, open them up and put them in here. That smells great. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to look for a little bit of caramelization on, on the gobi and on the onions. You want to wait to salt your onions till a little bit later because you don't want all that water to come out just yet. Now as the, as the gobi keeps getting cooked, it will get softer and softer. So you can just take a spoon and just press it down so it um, cooks all the way inside and it gets, uh, caram it gets a little more caramelization. Now here's the reason why we kept a little bigger florets because you want to be able to see you know them otherwise they'll just uh, dissipate and break up very easily because it's soft it's got cooked and the onions look good as well keep stirring them another healthy option is you can use some cooking spray and just spray it on and uh, that way the oil goes into all the crevices and the inside portion as well. So we're ready for the salt on the onions. Let's lightly salt them. We did add a little bit more oil. 
just so that it cooks well and it doesn't dry out. But on the whole, it's a pretty healthy recipe. It doesn't take too much. So now you can caramelize this to uh, your preference. I think it's good for us. We're going to go ahead and turn off the stove. And what we're going to do is we have a plate. And I'm going to just pour in the, spread out and pour in the onions. Now the onions are, are absolutely optional. We just think it goes very well, the two of them. And Looks good too. <laughs> and uh, also if you want, you can lightly spice these onions up with a little bit of dry mango powder. Mm -hmm. It's going to give a nice tang to it, so just uh, sprinkle some on. Mm. And we have some chaat masala. And just favorite. <laughs> you would say that. <laughs> It gives it a, an oomph, mm, I think. Absolutely. And uh, some red chili powder oh, to taste, of course. Wow. Okay. And we're going to put in, add in the cauliflower now. Just lay it on there. There you go. And we have some more dried mango powder. Sprinkle on. And this time, and this time round, uh, just concentrate it on the gobi or on the cauliflower because the rest of it already has quite a bit. You know that amchur makes my mouth water. <laughs> that, it does, yeah. That citrusy, you know, taste. It's, it's just awesome. Mm, it's yep. beautiful. Yeah. This is a great appetizer, I think, like a... Mid-afternoon snack. <laughs> right, and actually you can have it for a meal, you know, you just have, if you have dal and chapati, you just have this on the side, or, you know, fish, or, you know, grilled fish, or fried fish. So, it looks good. The tawa gobi is done. And that, that's our lunch today. It is our lunch, so <laughs> we're going to enjoy this. You make some and enjoy it yourself. And join us again in another episode of showmethecurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.